Hello, this is Northwest Trains, and we've got a mystery unboxing today. Uh, Rocket Railways, once again. Uh, but this time it's uh, Engage. As you can see, the box is half the size from last time. Uh, I noticed on their Facebook page that they advertised um, doing Engage mystery unboxings for a tenner. Now, this was a tenner in this box, including the postage. Um, Again, it's a bit of fun. Uh, don't expect too much, but um, you might just find uh, something very useful in them. Uh, the last one I got, I found a few parts that I could use. Um, so let's get it open. See what we got. Okay, I'll just check if there's an invoice in here. Nope, I don't think so. Right, so let's just have a quick look inside the box first. Looks like quite a big uh, gear really. Let's have a look. So we've got a platform kiosk, laser cut wood kiss. There we go, that's not bad. Uh, garage forecourt scene so basically petrol pumps looks like quite old-fashioned looking um, it doesn't give a date on them by gem with a white metal kit again that's not bad is it uh, let's have a look um, engage product street furniture scene so that looks like um, some sort of traffic lights oh yeah I've got quite a few bits there um, looks like a bench, chimney pots or something. Let's have a closer look at that. Right, what else have we got? Uh, tiny signs. Again, that's not bad, is it? So that's got two quid rows on it. I can see them easily selling for that sort of price. Right, what's this? It's um. Some sort of wagon top, I think. It could be an American wagon top, possibly. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty battered, weathered by someone. Um, cardboard house. Not too bad from a distance. Pretty, it's uh, a bit torn there. The other side looks alright. I'm sure that could be useful in the right spot. Uh, wall and gate doesn't look too bad I've never seen this one before so I'm not sure what brand that is quite a fancy gate on the front do for someone's uh, rich person's house ah there we go these will always come in handy I've got quite a few of these green forest platforms yep so far you know what I'm uh, it's so far, it's a lot better value than the double O gauge one I got last time, but like I say, um, without sounding mean, at the end of the day, I did say don't expect too much because um, some people might find junk useful. Um, but rephrase that, some, of, some people might find certain things useful, others might see it as junk um, so far. We've got some more walling here, so that's uh, quite good. Um, I'm pretty impressed so far to be honest. Uh we've got some like porter trolleys, I think they are. Two wheel luggage trolley. According to that. Again, white metal kiss. Um what have we got here? Motorcycle and sidecars. Another white metal kiss, fleet line by Gem. I've never had any of these before, so these would be interesting to glue and paint up. Right. Um Half a well, got a brake van without a roof. Um, it's the old Graham Farish made in Britain. Got metal wheels, pretty. No, they're not anywhere near as good by today's standards. Bit of damage there in terms of detail, but I do like the old Graham Farish. I think it was uh, quality back in the day. Um, you could easily make a roof for that out of plastic card for next to nothing. 
and that can be glued back together so it's got that reusable van out of that um mark one coach again we want to the grounded body coach or some for a heritage rally project i mean what i could do is uh put some sleepers on the ground and sit the coach on that um, it's got a buffer missing again it's a great graham farish made in britain model other than yeah it's missing two buffers but other than that it's, it's not in bad condition at all really so we've got got the buffers on it and got a coach that's not got particularly good body work but two good bogeys you know i quite like that it's a nice coach i haven't got any british rail blue uh graham farish coaches oh yeah even better i presume it might have lost it in transit and you're not too, don't think no that's not it i think this is off a container wagon again graham farish it's missing its wheels and uh one coupling but yeah i'm pretty sure this would have had containers on it like a freight liner type wagon uh hmm it's interesting right last few bits let's uh, see if we can get them all out of this box so i'm not just tipping it uh we've got a van here where it's missing its back wheels again you could soon make a set of wheels to go either side of that for a static car Otherwise, it's in pretty good condition looking at it. Sun blessed. Just trying to get it in zoom. That's quite a nice van, that. I mean, it wouldn't take much just to put a little wheel, uh, set of wheels either side of that. Just, uh, even if you just cut them out of uh, plastic or made them out of coil, some of them painted them black, you wouldn't really notice. Some of that size. An engaged greenhouse. I was looking at it thinking it was the top of a building, but it's actually a greenhouse. So, um, Again, I'm sure that can come in useful. Um, I'm not sure about this, I presume this is from a continental type layout. It's either a part of another build, it might be like a top piece or like a lion side hut or something. If anyone's seen this building before knows what brand it is, it looks like maybe a knock or uh, was it like Prisa, those uh, brands that you get, European brands. So that'd be interesting. I've got some uh, Fleischmann uh, European N-Gage, so that could, could add to that. I'm slowly building up a, a collection of bits to start European N-Gage layout. Uh, we've got a nice little trailer here. That's pretty good. In fact, you could even probably rob the wheels off the trailer to put on that. <laughs> but um, quite like that, actually. It's better condition. So um, we'll do a quick round up and uh, I'll see how much where for the gear I've got this time. Okay, all in. I had this lot, that's about between 12 15 pound if you were selling it all, you know, cheaply second hand. So I thought sort of one pound fifty each for uh, these three sets. I think I'll definitely use this one, uh, the platform kiosk, I quite like that. And uh, this little platform, got to be at least a quid. Uh, the little luggage trolleys, I only said about 50p for them, to be honest. Uh, because it, there's only a couple of them. Um, I imagine these would fetch at least 152 quid. I mean, that's price of two quid, but you know, you'd at least pay a pound for them, wouldn't you? I'm sure they'll come in handy. Uh, this coach body must be worth at least uh, two or three quid. Uh, the wagon again, I'll just say a 50p or a pound. Um, these other bits aren't worth anything really, but they could be useful on the layout. This trailer must be at least a quid. So yeah, um, these fences, I, I do like this fencing gate set. So again, I mean, that's got to be at least a quid, hasn't it? Two quid. Again, once I get a sort of set of wheels out for that, um, that's probably two quid, isn't it? Uh, the greenhouse, <laughs> probably about 10p. Same for these two. They're not worth anything, but they're a nice little thing. Overall, though, everything in there, apart from two items, is usable. So, um, thumbs up to um, 
Rocket Railways. It's a it's a nice bit of fun, and I do enjoy opening them. Um, so uh, I'll probably get another one in the future. Again, Rocket Railways, including postage, ten quid. Um, the other one I've had before is Sawyer Models. They're good value mystery bags. Let's have a look at their website. They also sell them online. Um, I'll just show you a few other little bits I've got. Um, last week I went to uh, Haydock Park uh, Training Toy Fair for the first time for a good few years. And these are normally quite rare to find. And when I've seen them on eBay, they're silly money. But I thought if I ever do a little micro layout again, the smaller coaches are ideal. Now this is an original Graham Farish coach, probably from the 80s. So got plastic wheels on it. But um, I think this was eight eight pounds. There's a little bit of uh, mark on the paintwork on this side here. Um, but this side's uh, pretty much immaculate. It's got all its buffers and everything. Um, so I was quite happy with that. I've also picked up this for four pound as well. I think it's the old SD and JR livery. I think it was. <laughs> and that's in the really old uh, Graham Farris packaging. So that's another four wheel coach. Um, what else have we got? Oh, uh, Carnforth. Oh, sorry. Go back to Haydock. Also, been looking out for Christmas bits. So we got this little um, Christmas. Um, I think it's like a food hut, like Christmas markets. So um, if I get time, I'm gonna do a little double nine Christmas layout. If I don't get time, I'm just gonna do a little Christmas theme on the loft layout. We'll see. So we've also got um, a little Santa figure there. As well as one of Santa's little helpers. Um, bit of fun for the layout, hopefully. We get time to do it. Um, and also for the narrow gauge line. 009 part of the loft layout. We've got an abandoned uh, tunnel portal here. Hope you go with the quarry theme that I'm trying to do. We've also got flower beds. They're a bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. But I thought... You know, you go one of the larger ones might do for like a little roundabout on the way out. Uh, so I've gone back to Haydock. I've also picked up these. These are coming useful in the past. Building accessories. So we've got windows, doors, guttering, that sort of stuff. All different sizes, modern, traditional looking. Um, and that was four quid, I think, for the pack. So when I do some more scratch built um, buildings in a narrow gauge line. That'll come in handy. Uh, also for two quid, picked up um, some of these uncouplers. I only need two of them, but yeah, you probably pay two quid just for one now, wouldn't you? Uh, so yeah, big pack of them. And we also have another one, uh, tunnel portal for the narrow gauge. It's not painted, so this might do for the Christmas layout if I get round to it. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Just bits and bobs. I'm looking forward to the next uh, unboxing. That that could very well be uh, the Backman Quarry Hunts list. So um, fingers crossed to pick one up. Um, but other than that being uh, quite quiet on the loco front. So um, let me know what you think. Do you think you got a good deal here? Would you have a go of ordering one? And if you do, let me know what you get. So um, also check out the Facebook page, um, Instagram, all the same, Northwest Trains. And I'll put more pictures and videos on there. So um, thanks again for watching. Keep an eye out for the next video. Bye for now.